From 2K Sports to everyone out there, welcome and Happy New Year. Hello, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. A New Year's Day game here, Grant. Is sleep deprivation potentially a factor in this one? You know, it can be. It depends on who you are and maybe what city you are in right now. But this is where skipping morning shoot-arounds and leaving the players some time to recover can be a good call. Now the starting group for the visitors. We've got Zeke Naji. And it's Jackson Davis in at the five, roaming the paint. And that one's good for Zingas. You know, at 7-3, not many guys can defend Porzingis. I mean, especially when he's operating this close to the rim. With the drive, Doc gets the bucket. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Hope loose. Here's the captain. 23 points his last outing. Pass to Jackson Davis. Out left to the wing. Tabuse, the pass to Naji. Here's Doc. Six on the shot clock. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Shot from the wing. And it's Mitchell, that time on the assist by White. Yeah, this is why defenses must be right up on Mitchell or he'll burn you off the pass. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Here's Tabase. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Assist by. Now, I know he makes it look easy, but it takes incredible physical tools to pull that off. Athleticism and explosion. Yes, indeed. Let's just call him Ladder Climber. Pass to Marshall. And there's the rejection. And it's going to be out of bounds. New York will have another go. And we have to take another look at that block. Boy, I like the fact that's intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be in their face all night long. First quarter, just about two minutes in. From deep, Mitchell. Again, the miss by Mitchell. Gone three of three so far from the floor. And there's the drive. Doc gets the bucket. And I love their energy so far. They're now four for four from the field. For New York, they've gone two for five here in the first. White, the pass to Mitchell. Outside quarter. Here's Marshall. On target from range. Boy, good vision that time from Michael Porter Jr. Saw the wide open teammate and then got the pass to him right on time. Gone four of four from the floor. Perfect start. The captain. Pass to Najee. Can't hit that one. Good work defensively by White. After five shots, that's their first miss. I definitely call that a good start. Pass to Mitchell. Porzingis sets a screen. And it's Mitchell, the miss. Mitchell's gotten just one of his four attempts from the floor tonight. Here's the captain. And a strong finish with two hands. What a finish. I mean, he just took over himself. What a show of power right there from the point guard. Man, sweet. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. You know, I've got two words to describe Donovan Mitchell. Dynamic score. You put this man in just about any situation, and he'll find a shot no matter what. And it's Marshall penetrating, and there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And, you know, we can't measure Hart. I mean, he's not as big as the other power forwards, but his jumping ability and mindset is incredible. Can't cash it in from close range. 
And it's Porter with the ball for New York. For a team with their talent, it's a bit surprising how poorly they played in this matchup last year. And guys, they suffered a clean sweep, and for one of the best teams in the league, that cannot sit well. You know they'll come to play tonight. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one, missed it, and has no one to blame but himself. Oh, oh my. big time right there. Man. This guy is putting on a clinic for the people. Man, I'm shocked. I can't believe he pulled that off in a real game. Well, when you know it, you got to show it. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. This is a really aggressive play that time from Porzingis, refusing to back off of his shot and able to draw the foul. Porzingis, two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Hachimura has checked in for New York. Both free throws good from Porzingis. He's one of the league's best free throw shooting bigs. A performance like this certainly proves it. Got six of eight shots to go. Here's Doc. Money on the 19-footer. Doc's got eight points. Impeccable mechanics this quarter. He's been perfect from the field. Marshall passes to Porzingis. Misses the layup. You know, he just has not been himself this period. Just too inconsistent up and down at the offensive end. Tabase with the bucket. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Now here's Porter. He's closely guarded. Here's Doc. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. At the line for the away team. And the free throw, no good. Tries again. A strong finish under heavy pressure from the D. They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, time out, time that's out. the interior. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to attack that area. Now a timeout called by New York. And with a pause in the action, here we have the best rebounding teams from last year. Last year, this was a team that owned the paint. They were so committed to rebounding. And that's a stat you love to lead the league in. Simmons looking around. A minute 37 left in the first quarter of the game. And here's the fast break. Here's Doc. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. And New York shooting only 31% to get this game underway. Pass to Simmons. And here's Jackson. That was a good call. The defense wasn't established. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. There's a minute 12 left to play in the first quarter. Here's Simmons. And they've done a pretty good job working the ball inside, but haven't been able to convert at all. Yeah, you know, defense or not, good defense or not, those are shots you got to make. I mean, they're missing some easy ones. Here's Tabase. Oh, he gets it to go. So far, he can't miss. He's four for four. Their success from mid-range has really set them apart today. Simply taking advantage of what the defense has given them, and they've really made the most of it. Here's Okogi. No good. Had a chance to end the run there. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space on the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out, but you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. And um, they look strong here in the early going. Doc's gone six of seven from the field here, getting just about everything to drop. Pass to Okogi. The steal. Here's Doc. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Really taking charge of the game. Largely with a detailed interior attack. And you know, that involves pounding it inside. Getting as many points as you can right at the rim. That demoralizes the team. 
Here's Tabase. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer beater. Makes his selection just in time. Well done. What was really impressive there, though, guys, was that he could have rushed it and panicked, and yet he kept his cool and splashed it. Domination in the first quarter. It's been pretty lopsided. Leading by 17. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. Welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And what do you guys think about the visitors here in this one? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. got Jackson. Rui Hachimura is out there with Josh Okogi. Then it's Donovan Mitchell and it's Simmons in at the point. And for New York they're shooting a poor 25% for this game so far. Ooh and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Clark it feels like we've reached the peak of this three point explosion. What do you think the next trend in the NBA will be? You know Brian it's hard to say. I mean perhaps we could land on the return of the center. Because we're already seeing that and the centers that are excelling and dominating the league and winning MVPs are in their prime. So perhaps we'll see teams get bigger and play more through their centers going forward. He's perfect from the line this time. Well, you know, Okogi has quickly proven himself to be a dynamic player. He flies around the floor looking for ways to help out his team at both ends, which is quite impressive for a young guy like him. We've got Mitchell. Isaiah Jackson is out there with Rui Achimura. Then it's Josh Okogi, and it's Simmons in at the point guard position. Jackson drawing the double team. Back to Simmons. That's two fouls in as many quarters. He may have to adjust his approach now. Second team foul. Jackson, the screen. Here's Achimura. No good from the wing. Boy, he knows he should have knocked that one down, especially with the defense not giving much of an effort. They've got Josh Okogi. Ben Simmons is out there with Mitchell. Then it's Rui Achimura, and it's Jackson in at the center. Hits the trifecta. Boy, Andrew Wiggins, the former first overall pick, showing off his passing skills there. Left side, Simmons buries it from about 10 feet away. Simmons has got his first points of the night. Got two of three shots to go in the second. And for New York, Mitchell out there with Ben Simmons. Then it's Rui Achimura. Then there's Isaiah Jackson. And it's Okogi in at the three slot. They're having a hard time with fouls. It's still early, but one more and they'll be over the limit. We'll shoot the technical free throw. Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell, no good on the free throw. And here's Jackson. He'll bring it up for New York. They trail by 18. And that'll wrap up what has been a five-game homestand for them. Now a timeout called by New York. And now a peek at some of the players competing for a spot in the dunk contest. All of them true dunk artists who can do some spectacular things in the air. And I can't wait to see what these guys have dreamed up this year. The level of athleticism and creativity that goes into this contest is what makes it so incredible to watch. And I could see him moving even higher up in the ranks. He's certainly a talented guy up in the air. 
He is for sure, but this list is just packed with real aerial artists. This dunk contest is really going to be something special. So that's how things are currently looking for the dunk contest. But of course, we'll update you with the latest news as we receive it. And as this lineup starts to take shape, this event is only getting more and more exciting. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Hey, Brian. Donovan Mitchell is a man of the people. He said, quote, just being in the community, whether it's going to high school games or barbecues, you never know what that one moment will do for a child. I'm forever grateful that I'm able to do that and get that reaction, and I will continue to do that throughout my life. Guys? Yeah, terrific stuff there, Allie. Thanks for that. McLeod gets the bucket. He drops yet another dive, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Well, when you look at the assist totals, hey, they've been clearly the better team. From deep, Mitchell. The kick out to Simmons. Back to Jackson. Goes back up. Doesn't go that time. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high impact defense they want to see out of him. The rebound by Jackson. For New York, they've gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. It's tipped. Here's McLeod. Simmons defending. Oh, wasted no time on that one. Doc's got 16 points now. That's three buckets in a row off assist. It's Jackson, high post. Pass to Mitchell. Here's Okogi. Five to shoot. To the paint. Here's Jackson. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Jackson's got his first two points. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Here's Doc. Achimura with a rebound. For New York, they've gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. Here's Okogi. Can't connect from the right block. Gotten over 50% of their shots to go. Five for nine in the second. Over to the left wing. And the three-pointer goes. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Now a timeout called by New York. Get left, On the court, the 2K leaderboard. Team leaders in blocks last season. New York, fourth. I don't think you can ever underestimate the effect that a few block shots can have on your opponent. I mean, it can get into your head as an offensive player. You're going in there thinking you've got a clear path, and then you see the ball going behind you in reverse. I mean, that could be major intimidation and affect your game. And here's Porter outside. It's hauled in by Doc. Doc's got four rebounds in the game. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Down low. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. With the explosive leaping ability, he's able to play center despite being undersized. The big man throwing it down. Kristaps Porzingis when you're 7-3, though. Doesn't take much vertical to punch it home. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. First team foul at the line for the away team. Wilder taking two shots. The first free throw is good. And so he makes both from the line. And for New York, they're shooting an unimpressive 30% in this game so far. 
Outside white. Misses in close. Gone seven for 11 in the second quarter. Doc passes to the captain. Here's Doc. Jackson, he's checked in for Achimura. And for New York, they're shooting just around 33% since the second quarter got underway. Now here's White. Defense is right there. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. Substitution for the away team. Number three, Quinn Tabase. Marshall passes to Jackson. Here's Porzingis. The second effort. And he lays it up and in. Porzingis has gotten his third basket of the night. No substitute for hustle and hard work. And Porzingis getting the bucket because he put both into effect there. Tabase. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Great job drawing the foul and almost converted the shot as well. Really as close as you can get to an and one right there. He almost had it. Taking two shots. Both good from the line that time. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. Definitely, that's one of the reasons they're in front right now. 114 left in the second period. Count in. He's a go-to guy for them because he's that consistent. Time and time again, he delivers. Pass to Jackson. Here's to Busse. Over Porter. Tabase with the bucket. Tabase's got six points in the quarter. Guys, I'll tell you what, feels like everything is coming easy to him. Just taking what he sees and capitalizing. Now Porter. From behind the arc. Gets the three ball to go. Yeah, they've got a lot of terrain to make up, and shooting the three ball more consistently like they are now should help them do just that. Oh, oh, nice. oh big finish. Man. And that one is hammered home. That'll be a move to remember. Wow. Yeah, great creativity in the air. A circus dunk for you right there, guys. Impressive looks on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Jackson against White. Outside Porter. Pass to Porzingis. Here's Marshall. Down to five on the shot clock. Oh, he got hacked on the three-pointer. And he'll head to the line. You know, not the smartest play a defender can make there. Yeah, unnecessary. I mean, make him earn those points from deep. Don't give them to him free at the line. Good on the second one. And he nails the third. We've got 13 seconds left in the second quarter. Kick it out! Kick it out! Here's Tabase. Oh! oh hey! How about Big that? Big time right there! Big time! Woo! Outstanding move in the lane. Just enjoy that one at home, folks. No doubt, with some huge elevation on the finish. Boy, the defender might have to put his shoes back on after that move. Wow. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Delivering the blowout. We'll take a quick break and then get you back to the action. And with All-Star Weekend approaching quickly, here's an update on how the dunk contest contenders are shaping up. I always love talking about this contest, Ernie. To be honest, I'm bummed they never asked me to participate. Well, maybe. It's just because uh, they seen you tear down a couple of baskets instead of just dunking it. You you know, you've already done it. And looking at the first half we just watched, wow, what a performance for the visiting team. Well, you love the points off the...
And that's a wrap on halftime. Thanks for watching as we send you back to BA to call the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Happy New Year's to all of you as we continue our broadcast. Kicking off the second half, here's Adrian Griffin's five. Oh, it's pure again. He's now a perfect 10 for 10 in this one. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Strong performance from him, but he may need to do even more if they're going to win this game. When one of these guys gets to the line, you can chalk up the points. Here are your top free throw shooters over the past month. Fifth best, Michael Porter. And over this stretch, his foul shooting has been exceptional. You could tell he was enjoying every single trip to the line. Here's White. Great look there, but off target. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Knocked away. Doc passes to Boussey. And he goes in for the dunk. <laughs> Woo! His energy is unmatched. And you know you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. New York shooting 34% thus far in this game. Now here's White. He's guarded closely. Here's the teardrop, and the layup is up and in. White's gotten his second bucket. Boy, that was a sweet-looking teardrop. There's very little defense for that. Tabuse, the pass to Najee. Here's Jackson Davis. And Porzingis with the block. When a guy has a 7-6 wingspan like Porzingis does, it's just tough to get away from him or get by him. That allows him to block a lot of shots. Here's White. Jackson Davis grabs a miss. Jackson Davis has got four rebounds now. Out to the right wing. Pass to Doc. From downtown. The rebound by Donovan Mitchell. Away team foul. Tabuse. Second personal foul. First team foul. To shoot the technical. Donovan Mitchell. That free throw is good for Mitchell. Now a timeout called by New York. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. <laughs> That'll drive your coach nuts. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. For New York, they've gotten two of four shots to go since the break. White, the pass to Porzingis. Back to White. Porzingis sets a screen to the middle. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. This is what we've come to expect from Porzingis. I mean, no let up in his game at all. When he's got his foot on the pedal, he mashes it. Here's Doc. The shot's good. Doc's got 18. Taking it right at the rack. I mean, that defense is looking real frustrated. Well, they should be. I mean, it has not been a good performance for him at that end of the floor. Porter gets the bucket. you got to push Porter Jr. out of the paint because he's so skilled at capitalizing down there. Pass to the captain. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. 
He's got six. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Fires from 14. And there's Mitchell. All the assists by White. White's got six assists here tonight. Yeah, Mitchell can get this mid-range look lined up. He's a very skilled shooter. And that one's good. He's been shooting with great consistency tonight. Love to see that confident play on offense. Away team foul. Number seven. Hachimura has checked in for New York. Second team foul. Substitution on the court. So it's the home team now. Here's Mitchell. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. After a poor offensive first half, some nice adjustments made by this staff, and their shooting percentage is climbing. He's shaking the hoop. He's actually shaking the whole building. Oh, what a slam. Look here, the fans going crazy right now. Platinum level highlight reel material. That is showtime stuff there. Porzingis finds Mitchell. Here's Marshall. Outside White. Grant, you look at the league's basketball-related income. The players and owners split it about 50-50. You know, B.A., that's why they call it a partnership. You talk about a shared interest. The NBA has really become a leader by example in all of professional sports. They kick it out to Porzingis. Shot clock at six. Wide open, but he couldn't capitalize. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. Let's it go from deep. Offensive rebound. Here's Tabase. Uses the glass on the layup. Tabase's got eight points in the quarter. A massive reason they're winning. This guy hasn't missed a shot. Not one. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. The G League is continuing to be a laboratory, if you will, for new rule changes that eventually make it to the NBA from the coach's challenge to take foul. Possibly up next, a target score for overtime instead of a running clock. It's been a popular change in the G League, and it eliminates multiple overtime games. Brian, it couldn't make the jump. I like it. It's worth a shot. Thanks, Allie. He made a three back in the first half, but that's it. We'll see if he can find his stroke. Their offense sort of clawing back to respectability. Let's see if they can keep building on this. Here's Tabuse. Checked by Mitchell. And yep, it's good. Tabuse's got 10 points here in the second half. And here's White. He's got six. Here's Marshall. The three-pointer off the mark. Gone 8 of 13 in the second half. Yeah, man, was it nice. You know where Wiggins' explosiveness comes from, though, right? His parents, a world-class sprinter and an NBA player. Now that is platinum-level DNA. There's 48 seconds left in the third. Pass to Porzingis. And he banks in the layup. Porzingis has got 16 points. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assists. You know, nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. If you allow him to get that close, you deserve to get scored on. Right side white. With the floater. That shot, no good. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Does it as well as anybody, fellas. Tremendous skill while in the air. The captain, the pass to McLeod. And he throws it down with one hand. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you got to love that action. At the end of the third quarter, a huge lead. This one may have already been decided. Delivering the blowout. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter started. And now we take a listen in to a recent huddle from Frank Vogel. Shrink the floor. When you're on the ball or closing out, close out faster. Okay, take away their airspace and then contain their drive. 
Man, that's the catch-22, right? Frank Vogel wanting better perimeter defense, but he's also wanting to limit free runs to the rim. And, and B.A., it takes tremendous discipline to do it. Don't leave your feet. Don't reach. Let everyone help each other out. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Jackson out there with Rui Achimura. Then there's Mitchell. Then it's Kobe White. And it's Porzingis in at the five down low. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. From deep, Mitchell. It's hauled in by Doc. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Doc's got 22 points. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. I tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Out to the wing. Shot is up. And there's White. That's good on the assist by Porzingis. That's a terrific play and a good sign. This team needs Porzingis to facilitate as well as score the ball. Into the lane, the captain. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. You know, the defense has been very slow to adapt. I mean, that's 10 straight points now inside. Pass to Mitchell. Porzingis, high post. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. He's showing off the floor awareness right there. I love whenever Mitchell looks to share the wealth. Here's Tabuse, defended by Jackson. Tabuse with the bucket. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. Jackson surveying the D. Drives to the hoop. Lays it up and banks it in. Plays like that, so easy for him. Here's Tabuse. Checked by Mitchell. Drops in the three. three Tabuse's got 38 points. He drilled one from deep in the first half, doing it again here in the second. Outside Mitchell. And he gets the bucket. And standing just six foot one, amazing how effective Mitchell is attacking the paint. Tabuse, the pass to Doc. Here's the captain, and he drains it. A solid five for six now. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. To the inside. And it's blocked. And it's going to be out of bounds. New York will have another go. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block boy he is all over that shot I mean had it red the whole way got himself in the position and then was able to make the play Okogi's checked in for Porzingis here's Mitchell a three off the inbound oh drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket but he'll head to the line for three going beyond mere stats Mitchell breathes life into this offense his energy lifts everyone around him Oh, you look at the size of the contracts now. Clark, you wish you could still lace them up? Hey, it's all relative, B.A. Guys that played way before me probably felt the same way about the money we were making in the mid-'80s, so it's relative. But it is quite astronomical. But it is a function of TV contract revenue and also merchandising and other income from ticket sales and the like and that number is humongous and the players deserve a significant portion of that and that's why the math as crazy as it looks um, still works yeah, you know we've seen a much different version of him in this half guys he's been sharper more focused and more assertive for New York they've gotten six of eight shots to fall during this fourth outside Porter Pass to White. Wide open. Buries the jump shot. White's got 10 points in just the second half. Well, you certainly can't fault him as the reason they're behind. He's been on target and on top of his game. 
And he dunks it down. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changers. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. Outside Mitchell. Porzingis set to screen. And that one's good. Mitchell for three. Mitchell's got 19 points. Well, they're on the right path now, but still in a pretty big hole. That kind of deficit, I think they're going about it the right way. I mean, they've got to get aggressive on defense. They need stops. And then you've got to take care of the basketball at the other end so you get a good shot every trip. Yeah, he's been having his way this quarter, attacking the basket and protecting their lead. Porzingis up top. The kick out to White. Back to Porzingis. And the layup falls. Porzingis has got six in the quarter. Well, that time he got the defense off balance with the well-timed pump fake. Nice work. Doc knocks it down from the distance. <laughs> that man is laser focused. Now, that's bad defense for a team that has a long way to go to catch up. They look pretty demoralized to me, and that always shows through at the defensive end first. Here's Porzingis. It's rebounded by Naji, shooting the ball incredibly well tonight. 73% from the floor. Here's the captain. He's guarded by White. Doc gets the bucket. 28 points for him. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. And in deciding against lowering the minimum age for the NBA draft, Grant, you think it's fair to 17 and 18-year-olds who want to go pro? You know, B.A., I do think it's fair. I mean, there are other avenues in today's basketball environment where compensation for these guys is possible. You have the overseas route. You have the G League Ignite. And, of course, now colleges have the NIL. So that's huge. First team foul. Shooting for the and amazing. the first one at the line is good. Number five, two shots. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. 119 left to play in the fourth. Pass to Porter. Outside White. Tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. Yeah, he was one step late that time. At the line for two. The first one falls. And he can't hit the second. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. Doc, no good. And New York shooting at a 48% clip from the floor. It's White with a drive. It's going to go the other way. Well, that's just another mistake. I mean, they, they've got it on autopilot, and they look totally dejected. Back to Jackson. The three. Nails it from three. They really came in with the right mindset today. I can guarantee you their flight home will be filled with some smiles. Yep. To have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exit. He buries it from three. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Doc, no good. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Three-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Number five. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for New York. And he drops the first. And Porter Jr. has a very high ceiling, especially when it comes to his scoring ability. Good on both. Here's McLeod. From deep. And no good. Here's Marshall. That was just an awful decision. I mean, you have to keep the clock moving. There's no reason to foul there. Yeah, inexcusable. I mean, he's got to know not to take any chances there. That's just a terrible foul. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. 
Hey, expanding his range. That shot missing. And so the road team gets the W in this one. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. Now, shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. And that about wraps it up. For Ali LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching the NBA, brought to you by 2K Sports as we present the New Balance Player of the Game.